the breakfast you always order when you go out but you never make it home because you're struggling with the poached eggs. I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect Eggs Benedict and it's really, really simple. All you need, English muffins, a bit of ham, some butter, egg yolks, and lemon juice. And then of course, all you need is eggs, a little bit of vinegar. You need your eggs really fresh, crack it into a bowl because you don't wanna be cracking the egg straight into the water. All kinds of things can go wrong. Very important to use a pot that's a decent size because actually you want the water to be moving around the outside of the egg and for it to be stationary in the middle. If you use a pot that's too small, the egg's gonna spin around in the water and break itself apart. Just a dash of vinegar in, and this is more for flavor than anything else. You want the water to be barely simmering. Just a few bubbles coming up every couple of seconds or so because every bubble that comes through the water runs the risk of breaking that egg apart. So just give the water a spin and drop the egg into the center. As the water stops moving, that's what wraps the egg around itself and gives you that nice poached egg. Because you can only really make one at a time, keep them in a little pot of warm water in the oven set to about 55 degrees. That won't overcook the egg, but it'll still be warm enough to serve. Now for our hollandaise. All you need is a double boiler, just a bowl over some simmering water, some melted butter, and a couple of egg yolks. So you want to add the melted butter a little at a time, and then whisk that into the eggs until it forms a really thick hollandaise sauce. The eggs are poached and warm, the muffins toasted, and we can top it with different things. Obviously, a bit of leg ham, and that's gonna be your regular eggs benedict. Some spinach, and that's eggs florentine, and then you've got smoked salmon as well, which is a great variation. I like to call it eggs anderson. And just top it with our hollandaise sauce, and we're done.